In this slide, we'll present you challenges and opportunities related to information for water resources management. Everywhere in the world, we can find similar challenges, but also opportunities. As for challenges, we like to divide them by different categories, including information, institutions, and investments. As for information, challenges regard data coverage and quality. It is very difficult to find timely data collected and qualitative data collected. The data coverage can be also very limited. Finally, one of the other challenges related to information is the lack of access to information in general. Information is very often can be digital or can be collected, but not always shared with the public in general. Challenges are also related to institutions. Sometimes there is a lack of um, technical capacities for learning, contributing, and absorbing global good practices for information management. We can also observe that a lot of institutions are involved into collecting or exchanging information, but very often this information is not well coordinated. Institutions do not coordinate properly, and that is due to the lack of involvement of relevant stakeholders, as well as collaboration among all these different actors. Finally, Another challenge regarding institution is the lack of modern information-based decision-making. This is also linked to the lack of coordination among the different stakeholders in the sense that to get a real information system uh, to help you taking informed decisions, institutions have to work together in putting information into the system and create knowledge products everyone would agree. Finally, challenges are also related to investments. To have efficient, modern, robust monitoring systems and forecasting systems on the ground is critical to get good coverage and quality information. Very often this is lacking. Sometimes public budgets do not allow to invest properly into monitoring and forecasting systems, which result, of course, of uh, neglecting these investments on the side of the governments or public services. Or not. Of course, investments, poor investments, uh, can also be related to office infrastructure and equipment. And this is one of the challenges we also observe everywhere in the world. And finally, um, as for the investments, the infrastructure deficit for storage, water supply, irrigation, power transport, watershed management also impact the quality of the information we collect and that we manage. That's why it is very important to have good quality infrastructure overall to get also good quality information overall. Finally, another challenge we encounter in terms of investments is the investment coordination, especially when you have numerous infrastructure uh, that are linked to each other. Uh, it is very much needed to coordinate and to link all this infrastructure to get also good quality information for your decision support system. Of course, they are not always challenges, but also opportunities. And as we live as in the era of integrated water resources management, information platforms that exist in different forms, they, they can be called information systems or decision support systems. In any case, this platform provide very good basis uh, for long-term multi-sectoral integration. We live in this era where each sector and all the stakeholders they can be governments, uh, CSOs, academia, need to work together. And these platforms provide 
tremendous opportunities for them to work together. Another opportunity lie the fact that new technologies are being created every day. And these technologies expand access to different data, increase data exchange transparency. They also encourage better information sharing practices. And as mentioned earlier, support and encourage multi-sectoral modernization initiatives. We have to make the best of the new technologies that are being created every day. Also, information platforms are excellent entry points to support technical and institutional cooperation, in particular in a transboundary context, when each party needs to receive the same quality information. Data should not be collected for the sake of data itself, but it should respect a value chain that will bring progressively to good decisions. First, we collect data and then it transforms to information, then into knowledge of knowledge products. And then finally, we are able to take good decisions. And I think this is one of the biggest opportunity in that regard.